My name is Janet Ruto Megeri. I'm the business development manager, Geocycle. Geocycle is a unit within Bamburi Cement uh, where we deal with waste management. So we take waste and convert it into energy through a process called co-processing. So as you know, cement industry uh, uses a lot of uh, fossil fuel. So Lafarge Holcim came up with a, a way to combat this where we use waste uh, in the process of cleaning the environment and we reduce the use of fossil fuel by substituting with alternative fuel, which is uh, waste. Uh, some of this is agricultural waste, industrial waste, municipal waste. So in the process, we also work with the community. We work with the informal sector. And uh, through the initiative, through the use of alternative fuel, we've uh, impacted uh, more than 1,000 lives, especially uh, looking at the agricultural sector, where we work uh, with um, the, the people from Moya, uh, Moya Irrigation Scheme, we collect rice husk, and the rice husk is used to substitute the HF4, and uh, there we collect the rice husk from the millers and uh, use it to substitute. So we work with the community. In that, we have impacted uh, more than 1,000 lives. When we talk about the other waste, like uh, tires, we have uh, the informal sector where they collect the tires from different places, here in Nairobi mostly, and Mombasa. And we've impacted more than 500 lives uh, through employment, job employment, where they go collection of the waste and in turn deliver to our plants for small incentive. I can say starting and uh, using of alternative fuel in our grinding station, that is in Nairobi, where we started uh, just as a trial with uh, 1% and moved up to 70%, uh, that was the greatest achievement. And so far, we've continued using like 70% substitution using the rice husk. So I think that is a very big win for Bamburi Cement in our grinding station. You know, what I'm trying to think huh, is uh, the way we worked with the community. So we had initiatives where we had drums and uh, we were supplying to the communities. We were working also with the Ministry of Environment where um, uh, were sensitizing people on how to take care of themselves. We conducted a lot of uh, webinars and uh, sensitization where we just tell people on what to do during the pandemic. We also supported uh, some children's home where actually the staff uh, for, for uh, the, is it for go, for went? For <laughs> The, the the Christmas party and uh, the amount was taken to buy food stuff to the less fortunate in the community. And then uh, we also went and uh, delivered PPE to the local hospitals. We had the Machakos, Mombasa Hospital, Kajado in the Kajado County. So we had so many organizations where we were trying to see how we can support each other during this hard time. The main challenge that we have in the country is uh, waste management. It is something that has been tried and tested and um, we still have a long way to go. Uh, what we are seeing is uh, we want to increase uh, the collection of waste through sensitization, through policy regulation, to see that we have proper systems in place to take care of the waste. For us, we are also looking at uh, increasing our substitution with the fuel by uh, uh, increase by 10%, probably in the next uh, 10 years. So to move from 10% to 20 to 25% substitution, and that means that we'll use a lot of waste. So when we come together in, uh, in terms of uh, proper waste management through uh, uh, the community that we are in, through proper collection, I think a lot can be done as a community. For me as an individual, um, it will be my joy to see that we have proper system in terms of uh, waste management, to see that we have cleaner cities, we have cleaner homes, to see our children knowing how to take care of the waste through recycling, uh, reducing, and uh, just have a proper way of uh, waste management. I think it will be a joy for me. It is high time that we all have, a uh, we come together collectively and speak one language in terms of um, uh, taking care of our environment for the better future of our children and community as general. For the waste, it affects all of us, irrespective of your class. You don't have to be first class, lower class, you are all impacted through issues that comes about uh, with the pollution, climate change, as you're seeing right now, um, 
if we have a bad environment, we are all affected. So for me, it's more pushed to, towards sensitization, making everybody aware of the environment and taking precaution or taking proper measures in the proper disposal of waste. So that, that for me, that is my take. <laughs> for, for, for the organization, of course, uh, it looks at it in terms of um, like doing something better, especially given that we use the fossil fuel. So what do we do to improve the environment? Of course, uh, instead of doing landfill, we can do co-processing where we use the waste. And uh, for that, you don't have any waste that come out from it. So you reduce the fossil fuel. And that means that you reduce the green gas emission that is usually emitted. So yes, we focus towards uh, improving our uh, the climate change, uh, improving our environment, having cleaner environment. That is what pushes me. Yes. So what pushed me to Zuri? I think it's just having that voice that waste is not about any class. It's, it affects all of us. So we need to all come out, be aware of our environment, be aware of the waste that we are producing, and what can we do about the waste that we have? Do we, have, do we know the proper ways of disposing, like recycling? Do we know what can we recycle? I like the fact that the government came with the ban of the plastic, uh, uh, plastic bags. So that has shifted. Now we need to go to the next level, and the next level. So being in Zuri, we might give me or will give me a platform to communicate this properly and have my voice be heard and uh, make people be aware of the waste challenges that we are having or we are facing and what we can do to improve the environment. For me, uh, with the theme Choose to Challenge, I, I will challenge myself to be more, to be more intentional in celebrating other women, uh, be more intentional with my pa uh, passion and purpose to probably make sure that whatever uh, I do, it's geared towards uh, the, my, my passion, which is proper waste management.